you want to share your song files with your team, start from the songs page. First, for attaching files, click the gear icon and enable integrations such as song select, phrase charts, or rehearsal mix. I've already done that, so let's move on. I can add a new song in the top right corner of the page. By typing in No Longer Slaves, I see a list of popular songs. I can listen to a sample of the song to make sure it's the right one. Once I choose the correct song, it'll bring in some information about the song, including the original key. I can then add a capo for my acoustic guitar player to add a separate chord chart whenever I choose the key of B flat. Adding tags to a song helps me find or filter them later and keeps my database organized. Because I integrated with Song Select, I can check the box to import lyrics or chord charts. Now that the song is created, I can add more files in three ways. First, clicking the plus will give me more options to upload my own files, link to other sites, attach files using integrations, or attach a YouTube link. The fastest way to upload your own files is to drag them from your computer directly onto the key that they apply to. And third, you can use the Lyrics and Chords Creator to type out your own transposable chord charts. I can add another key to this song by clicking Add Key. In this case, I want the new key to be A flat. When I press Save, all of my charts I had in B flat will automatically be transposed to A flat. I can also transpose the audio file that I uploaded earlier by clicking the music icon and then selecting A flat. The song and its files are ready, so let's add it to a plan. From my plan, I'll click Add a Song or press S on the keyboard. From here, I can type in the name of the song I just added and select a key. Now my team members can go to the rehearse features on the web or in the mobile app. They can listen to all the audio from the media player or download a songbook using Download All PDFs.